Hi, Assalamualaikum. Uh, my name is Shafiq. Uh, today I'm going to discuss with all of you about the type of the aircraft. As we know, uh, there are three types of aircraft which is light, narrow and wide body aircraft. So today, in this session, I'm going to compare uh, the narrow body and the wide body aircraft. So let's find out together. So, let's find out together. Narrow body aircraft is the aircraft that is smaller and basically used for short mission. It usually carry maximum capacity with 220 passengers. A narrow body aircraft has a single eye which is permitting up to 6 abreast sitting in a cabin below 5 meters of width. The highest seating capacity of a narrow body aircraft is 295 passengers in the Boeing 757-300. The history of the narrow body aircraft began in the late 1960s and continuing through the 1990s with the twin engine narrow body aircraft such as the Boeing 737 Classic. McDonnell Douglas MD-80 and Airbus A320 were primarily employed in the short to medium haul market. The improvisations of the engines of Boeing 737 MAX and 320neo offer 500 miles more range allowing them to operate the 3000 miles the transatlantic flights between the eastern US and western Europe previously dominated by the white body aircraft. White body aircraft is the aircraft that is larger and basically used for long mission. It has larger cabin space. In the early 1960, airlines are seeking for larger aircraft to meet the rising of global demand for air travel. With the current fleet like B707 and DC8 which have only a single eye could not accommodate more space for their passengers. Thus, in 1970, B747 DC-10 L-1011 has come into the market. This aircraft has got multiple aisles which is could accommodate 10 seats across. This B747 is a unique aircraft which is have the partially upper deck. In 1974, first white body twin jet, which is the Airbus A300, B767, Boeing 777s, Airbus A330, Airbus A340, and McDonald's MD11 has come into the market. However, in October 2007, the Airbus A380 has come into the service. This Airbus A380 had surpassed the capability of the Boeing 747 which is known as Jumbo Jet before. This A380 had fully upper deck from front to the end. However, in the mid 2000s, with the price of jet fuel increasing, the airlines are seeking for the aircraft that efficient in consuming the fuel. So we already know about the differences between narrow body aircraft and wide body aircraft. Um, these two types have their own benefits. So let's find out together. Narrow body aircraft are produced for higher flight density and quick turnaround times at the airport. The navigation, the maintenance, crew and other expenses can be up to 1.5 until 2 times lower than the wide body aircraft. Moreover, less crew are required in the narrow body aircraft. Meanwhile, for the wide body aircraft, it will be much more convenience 
for the passengers as more space in the cabin were given and more comfortness provided to the passengers compared to the narrow body aircraft. It also has more ways to evacuate in the emergency situations. Moreover, it has less time for the passengers to board and disembark from the aircraft. So we already know about the aircraft, uh, which is the narrow body aircraft and wide body aircraft. So is there any issues regarding or related to these two types of aircraft? So let's find out. The wide body aircraft market has affected negatively. The reason is the range and capacity of the larger narrow body aircraft has increasing. For example, Airbus A321 long range and Boeing 737. These situations made the airlines are hesitant to acquire larger wide body aircraft which can only be filled in the densely route densely route. Between 2016 to 2035, the flight global expect 26,860 single hours to be delivered for almost $1,380 billion. As for the conclusions of this video, I would say that narrow body aircraft and white body aircraft has their own disadvantages and advantages. So it up to the top management of the airlines to decide whether to buy the narrow body or white body aircraft. So I think that would be all from me for this narrow body aircraft and white body aircraft. Until next time, we meet again. Bye.